And now Pashuk Rashuk and Yevgeny Platov. They have not lost a major competition since 1994 when they lost to Torval and Dean. They have won 20 straight. Here they are trying to win their third straight European title. But they are in second place due to this fall, which happened in the OD, and it looked like they hooked feet, and he went down in the middle of the jive. An unfortunate spot to be going into that free dance, being that they're the defending champions. But even with the fall, they are in second place. Grichuk Platov's program is Memorial Requiem. It's a requiem to those that have been lost in skating, in their lives, and those they have been close to. Watch how centered she is on that move. have very, very smooth transitions, and they give us pictures to look at. They stop the motion once in a while, and that's very important for us to really to feel what they are feeling out there. And Jody, most believe around here that this is a free dance that is so powerful that if there isn't a major mistake, the Shukin Platov should overtake Rilovanov Sianikov at the top for the gold medal, and it should be pointed out there isn't much love lost between those two Russian teams. That's right, Terry. They're highly competitive. And as of yet, they hadn't met head-to-head -head until this competition. This year. That's right. There's always dramatic repetition. They, com they complete moves not once, not twice, but in this case, three times kind of drives it home. That's a tremendously powerful move, how he dropped her down and was able to control the speed. about Pasha and Evgeny is that they are both so strong that the possibilities are endless. You can just pick a piece of music and choreograph it and they can pull it off. They have emotion, there's drama, there's theater, and there's definitely tremendous skating. by Michael Nyman is very reminiscent of what Jane Torval and Christopher Dean skated to in 1984. It was Ravel's Bolero. The power of the music built, built to the end. It was very, very exciting. And I feel that with this piece. Haunting, isn't it? It is. Now, Judy, I'm getting the sense that their lifts are executed with a great deal of strength and precision, but not very many of them. Is this a factor? They don't need to have many lifts. Look at the skating in between. Look at the turns they both do. The difficult moves, she does it as well as him. The connection between the two is very strong. Well, I think they have some spots they have to clean up before Olympics, this program is a, a real piece for them. No doubt the favorites for their second straight Olympic goal, but we'll have to wait to see if they can capture their third straight European title. Asha Grishuk and Yevgeny Platov of Russia.
There's been a lot of publicity about them this year, and she loves it. She lives off it. She tends to create plenty of publicity. This is that dramatic repetition I talked about. She's so strong in her position. He's strong in holding it, reaching under and pulling her through. And when you repeat a move two and three times, it drives it home. The Russian teams are known for this. Well, they had the fall in the original dance. Nowhere close to that, though, in the free dance. And many think that the reason they do tend to fall now and then is because five, they eight, are so fast five, and so powerful, nine, and they're trying to five, push that edge. Eight, they are the best skaters eight, eight, out there. That's five, their eight, coach, Tarasova. Five, nine, she has Tatiana worked Tarasova with... Tarasova on the right. They live and train five, in Marble, eight, Massachusetts, eight, five, even though they're both nine. from Ukraine. Their technical merit marks. For presentation. This is usually where they shine. Five, and it certainly is wow. with four six point oh's. Four perfect sixes on the board five, for Grishuk and Platov. Five, Can't do a whole lot more in the free dance. So they put the pressure on the leaders after the original dance now. Grishuk and Platov, the leaders in terms of those that have skated, but Krilov and Opsianikov still to come.